Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here with me for today. I have the pleasure to be discussing briefly with you how the governmental contract operates in the country of Haiti. The past decades have always seen Haiti not allocating any governmental contracts out in the open. These have all always operated in close range amongst the same individuals. It's always been their strategy to keep the monopoly. Most contracts regarding electricity, roads, and telecommunication has almost never seen the light of day. The present shakedown of Haiti involves major key players. It involves families that are all of Arabic having come down to Haiti decades ago. They've established themselves into the country got involved into commerce, slowly gained more leverage than the Haitians bourgeoisie dominating the entire export import market. These people not only got involved into commerce, they slowly got involved into politics. Their strategies were very clever. They never really cared about holding any governmental position in the country. What they did is financially support those that would be in their interest. Here is where the relationship came forth. People who got involved in politics started to accept their involvement as soon as they were fulfilling their agendas with cash. In return, these people got a free pass into trades, taxes, and the more they were betting with these nasty politicians, is the more they got involved into activities that would enrich them. So now let's look a little bit into the governmental contracts. Simple. These contracts do not see the light of day. All of them are worked on behind the scenes. They are allocating among the same individuals at times who serve in office, the public, let alone foreign investors, outside of the crooked politicians over in the Dominican Republic, are never aware of these opportunities. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we understand a little deeper how much an accord with other powers will destabilize these individuals. It is obvious that should Haiti see true development, they will no longer benefit of the back of the country. A new routes in maritime ports automatically will bring about many others entering into commerce. It will bring forth greater development and more external access for Haiti. Haiti should be able to enter into partnership agreement that will not only secure its leverage, but it give us access to new market. So now we see in greater details the strategic shakedown of the country of Haiti. We see more clearly the losses that will involve so that play crucial roles into crippling the nations into this misery. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a fight, a geopolitical fight, but also an internal fight. A fight for Haiti, for this nation who saw itself revolutionize history by fighting for freedom all over the world. A fight to make sure that Haiti regained its stability in this new world order. A fight to remember those who lost their lives for our land. A fight to let people understand that our roots are profound and numerous as such. Our forefathers will always see through that our trees are rebirthed. The sun will shine again for Haiti and our rivers will flourish. All for one and one for all.